Hello everyone, it's Dr. Joji F. And Jr. and welcome to episode number 24 of Arkham Asylum Patient Files. Today's patient is David Clinton, also known as Kronos. The patient is, is violent, but also at the same time very, very, very smart. Yeah, it's best to keep him away from all electronic devices, especially the Cox. Anyways, it's time to get into his story. <clears throat> Clinton was born to a very caring mother named Ellen and, and a no-good deadbeat alcoholic dad named Jonathan. Jonathan always hung out at a pub, only coming back once every day to watch the news, then he would just immediately go out. Clinton didn't see much of his dad as a kid. Don't worry. Jonathan didn't beat David, thank God. It's because beating him would require paying attention to him. And he didn't want to pay attention to his son. So, that's, at least he didn't beat him. And his mom was just too caring to do that. Now, uh, when he graduated from high school, when he was 17, his mom died from an owner she'd been struggling with ever since Clint was five. And, uh... And, and she willed Clint her, her money, i.e. his college fund. And um, Clint got a, a bachelor's degree in, and, and, and like, like, technicianing, like, making tech, you know. And uh, when he was 22, his dad died from, for, via liver poisoning because all that alcohol poisoned his liver, killing him. And now without his parents, Clint had to become a career criminal in order to pay his bills. He served about four prison sentences as a regular criminal. And during the fourth one, he realized he didn't, have an, he didn't spend enough time planning his robberies. And inspired by a routine clockwork routine in prison, he became, he became obsessed with time. When he was a little kid, he... He took apart a clock and, and became fascinated with his his mechanisms, and that had, and that opened the door to a whole new level of, of that. When he was released from prison, he moved to Ivy Town, the home of the Atom, and became Cronus. At first, he just would like simple gadgets based on time, like like a watch that fired a buzz saw and two arrows, because the arrows are like the our hands and uh, the bus saw is like the desk, you know, with the numbers on it, you know. Yeah, and, and, his tra and one of his trademark weapons is flying sundial. However, his third crime spree had him actually build like a pocket watch that could freeze time, slow it down, speed it up, reverse it, fast forward, anything. And uh, whenever he's defeated by the Atom, they always bring him here to Arkham. The reason why villains from all over the country come here, like from Metropolis, Superman City, Keystone, the home of the Flash, Jay Garrick, because everyone knows who the Flash is. The home of the Blue Beetle here in Gotham. Everywhere. It's because, for one thing, the government deems them insane and says they're not fit to stand trial. Because, well, they have themes like riddles, duality, gestures, time, ice, feet. Even mad scientists are, are sent here to Arkham, like Lex Luthor. The arch nemesis of the Superman. And um, I really should stop here before I just go on some tangent. So there you have it. That's the story of David Clinton, also known as Cronus. Right. Next up, I'll be doing... Well, who knows what I'll be doing next, but as always, remember y'all, I'll see y'all in the next video. Peace out, y'all.